In this video, we're going to take a look at the dimensioning tools, in particular linear dimension. First, we're going to open up our dimensioning toolbox from the main tool frame here. And as you can see, there's quite a few dimensioning tools there. The one we're going to take a look at, and the one most commonly used, is the second one, which is dimension linear. So we're going to click on the tool. Tool settings window shows me dimension styles. You can see there's a magnifying glass there. There's quite a few dimension styles that control the dimensions. We'll take a look at these in future videos. Alignment, there's currently four v options. There's view, drawing, true, and arbitrary. View and drawing are coincident in 2D unrotated views. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at using view, so we're going to set that. Location, this controls how text is placed. We have automatic, semi-automatic, and manual. We're going to leave it set to automatic. And then each tool has icons on it. So there's a number of different ways to place just a linear tool. There's linear size, which is what we're going to do. And then there's a show basic options. We're going to expand that. You can see there's start and end dimensions. So we can tell it to show or not show that. We'll do that in a little bit. And then there's association down here below. This will associate the dimension, providing you snap to an element, whether it's in your active file or a reference file. And if that element changes, then your dimension will change. So we're going to go ahead and collapse this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a horizontal dimension. And status bar in the bottom is telling us to select start a dimension. That's going to be right here. We're going to do a left click or a data. And now as I move my cursor out, I'm being asked to select dimension endpoint. So I'm going to go to this point right here and do another data. And now I'm locating where the dimension lines or text is going to be placed. And I'm going to line it up with this one by just doing a tentative and then a data. That dimension is placed. Now I'm going to continue on dimensioning horizontally. So I'm going to go to my next dimension point, another data. I'm going to go to the next point there and do a third data. And I can continue to dimension, but at this point I'm done. So I'm going to press reset, the right button. Now you can see there's three dimensions placed across. And these are associated to those elements. So again, if those elements change in any way, those values will change also. Next, we're going to do a vertical dimension. Now, in this particular case, where you saw how this value of one foot was put between the two extension lines. That's a dimension style setting. To do our vertical dimension, we're going to need to change that. And you're going to see that in a moment. So I want to do a vertical dimension here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this point. And I'm going to pick this point. And it looks like we're doing a horizontal. But when I do the second point and then I move my cursor out, you're going to see the vertical dimension appear. You can see the text or the value is actually in between the extension lines, not visible. We're going to change on the fly our dimension style. So I'm going to go to my dimension style dialog box, clicking on the magnifying glass. This will open up dimension styles dialog. You'll see there's five tabs across the top. The one we want is geometry. And then down here under fit options, Right now, Terminator inside. It's forcing the Terminators on the inside. I'm going to change this to move both. This happens dynamically as I move my cursor back into the drawing area. You'll notice that the 0.75 is now outside. And I'll do a data and then a reset. We'll close this up. Again, these are associated. So if any of these items change, and if the elements move, for example, if I go to my move element tool, or I should say I should go to my modify element tool, and I'm going to modify this end, this line. And we'll go ahead and move it out like this. And as I did that, you can see the dimensions dynamically updated. Go ahead and do it, undo. So that's the basics for placing in just a horizontal and a vertical. Next, what I'm going to do is place in a dimension showing the thickness of this area here. So again, I'm going to go back. This time, we're not going to choose a line by view. We're going to do it by true. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a point down here. And as I do that, you can see it's dynamically asking me to pick the second point. And I'm going to be moving up to this point here. And these are perpendicular. That's as important. If it's not perpendicular, you would have to use the AccuDraw Enter and, and lock it to pick that second point. So I'm going to pick the second point there. And then I'm going to position my 
text along where I want to. And let's say right there. And again, it wants to continue doing the more dimensions. I'll press reset to end it. So that's your horizontal, your vertical, and your true method of placing dimensions. Mm -hmm.